Hello, welcome to the Repuzzle channel. Today I will be showing you step-by-step -step instructions for the Beverly Puzzle, Relakuma, and Kiori Tori. This puzzle has no numbers on it, so I will be showing you each piece, giving you a step number, displaying it in the corner, describing each piece, and then showing you where it goes on the puzzle. Hopefully by the end of the video, we'll have gotten it together for you. All right, let's get started. Okay, step number one. We are going to start with Kyori Tori, which is going to be four pieces. So it's gonna be steps one through four. You're going to start with the bottom. It has the little feet on it. You're gonna line that up with the front. And then you're going to take the little top part of the head and line up the notches with the top of the head. It's one bigger than the other. The smaller side goes to the right. And then you're going to take the pole, which has two edges on it. You're going to line up the edges on the sides and snap it into place. like that. Step number five, you're going to take the base and you don't have to hold it. I'm just holding it for the video so it's easier to see. You can just set it down. It'll make it easier to build it. Step number six is this piece. It has two going in on one side, indent right here. You flip it over as two going out in a hole for where the pole is going to go through. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect at the bottom. Step number seven, this piece has part of the leg. There's a little indent right here. So one going out, one going in. Flip it over as one going in, one going out, and the tail is at the end. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect to the top right. Step number eight, this piece has two going out. You flip it over, there's two going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top. Step number nine, this piece has one going in, one going out with the leg right here. You flip it over, it has two going in with this side facing downward. It's going to connect on the bottom left. Step number 10 is this piece it has one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has two going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect at the top. Next step, step number 11, has two going in. Flip it over, it has two going out the indent right here for where the stomach is going to go. And part of the arm, with this side facing upward, it's going to connect on the bottom right. Step number 12 is the belly. It has a little hook on the back. You're going to take the hook face down and put it into that slot. Step number 13 is this piece. It has two going in with part of an arm. You flip it over. It's two going out with an indent under the arm. This side facing upward, it's going to connect on the right. Step number 14, this piece has two going out, part of an arm. You flip it over, it has two going in, and a little raised edge right here. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect on the left. 
step number 15. That is one going out, one going in. You flip it over as one going out, one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top. Step number 16 is this piece as two going in and part of an arm. You flip it over as two going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect to the right. Step number 17 is this piece. So one going in, one going out, and an edge right there. You flip it over as two going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect to the left. Step number 18. This piece has one going out, one going in. Has a little indent right there for where the chest is going to go. The other side it has one going out, one going in. With this side facing upward, it's going to connect along the bottom right. Step number 19. This piece it has two going in. Little slant right here. Flip it over, has one going out, one going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect at the top right. Step number 20, this piece, has two going out, indent right here, and a slant right there. You flip it over, has one going in, one going out. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect on the right. Step 21, it's this piece, has one going in, one going out, a slant right there. You flip it over, it has two going out. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect at the bottom left. Step number 22, is this piece, it has one going in, one going out, it's kind of a raised edge right there. You flip it over, it has two going in, a raised edge, and a slant right there. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect top left. Step number 23, this piece. It's one going in, one going out, a slant going downward. You flip it over, it has one going out and one going in, a slant going downward on this side. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect on the left. Step number 24 is this piece. It has one going in, one going out, a slant going down on that side. You flip it over, it has one going out, one going in, a slant going down on this side. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the right. Step number 25 is this piece. It has one going in, one going out, a slant going down right there. You flip it over, it has one going out, one going in, and a slant going down on this side. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect on top right. Step number 26 is this piece. It has two going in, a slight slant right there. You flip it over, there's two more going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect the top left. Step number 27 is this piece. It has a notch out of it for where the nose is going to go. It has the eyes on the side. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over. It has two going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom. Step number 28 is the nose has a little hook on the back of it. The hook is going to line up right there. And the nose will be upward. Step number 29 is this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over. It has two going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect 
along the left. Step number 30 is going to be this piece. It has two going in. Little indents for the eyes will line up on the side. And the other side has one going out and one going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom. Step 31 is this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over, it has two going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top right. Step 32 this piece has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has one going out, one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top left. Step number 33. This piece has two going out. You flip it over, one going out, one going in. Slight slant right here. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the left. Step number 34 is this piece. So one going out, one going in. Slant right there. Flip it over, it has two going in. With this side facing upward, it's going to connect along the bottom right. Step number 35, this piece, it has two going out, flip it over, it has a little raised edge right here with one going in, one going out, this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the right. Step number 36 is this piece, it has two going out, you flip it over, there's two going in, with this side facing downward, it's going to connect on the bottom left. Step number 37 is this piece. Has one going in, one going out. Hole in the middle for where the pole's gonna go, and two holes for where the ears are gonna go. You flip it over, it has two going in. This side facing downward, it's going to connect the top. Step number 38 is the pole. Go and slide it into place, and you use your key to tighten it. Once you hear that little click, don't tighten anymore. So that's as far as it should go. Step number 39 is to tap the head. It has little notches where the ears are going to sit in. There's one going out, one going in. The side facing downward, it's going to connect at the top. And then the steps 40 and 41 are the ears. You can see that the position of this little pole is not different. So this one is going to go on the left. So slides in place like that, and this one's going to go on the right. Next, we're going to take the stickers. If you want them, these are for the ears. This is the nose. This goes on the back. These are for the eyes, and these are for the feet. And that's, that's what the other face looks like. If you want to switch it to that one. Now there's extra stickers, which you could put wherever. There's also a stand, but that's it. So this is how it should look when it's finished. If you have any suggestions of what I should put together next time, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.